What's up guys, Gunzer and welcome back to Pro Semitor 2022 for episode number 26 of the Savalo Career Mode. Today's episode is going to be about the national championships. Uh, the last episode was the Giro, there was the Dauphiné and the Tour de Suisse in between. Um, I didn't bother recording it, and that's nothing to do with me forgetting to record it. I just played it, and then I realized that it was too late. Uh, I won both, which is good. Uh, that's also why I've not used the weekly save, because I've won both. Um, but yeah, and also I figured Tour de Suisse Dauphiné, you've seen them on the channel already. I'm not a Swiss team anymore, so I don't have the link with the, um, the Tour de Suisse. We did Romandie because GC, Kung, blah blah blah. But as I said, today, national championships. Um, we've got quite a few. We've got quite a few. Uh, hopefully we can bring a few titles to Garmin Cervelo. And uh, maybe, I don't know, scout some riders that could potentially join us next season if they do well. First up, we've got the National Championships of France uh, for the time trial aspect. Lenny Martinez is here. 65 time trial. Um, you guessed it, I'm not gonna win. There's 5k left for Remy Cavagna. Um, Lenny didn't do too badly. Um, he's 117 down, which is very surprising actually. Um, I ran out of energy really early on with him. I think before the um the the third um time zone, which is a shame. Pavel Sivakov currently leads, although Remy Cavagna is first in La Gaillotière. One k to go for Remy. Will it be a title for the Wolfpack in the first race of the day? Yes, yes it is. After France, we move to a neighboring country, Belgium, for uh, well the time trial championships. Sepp von Marke is our leader, plus two today for the soon-to-be-retired rider, I think. I don't think there's an extension uh, planned for Sepp. Gonna try and achieve a top 25. Uh, it's a second title for the Wolfpack. Ilan van Vilda takes it ahead of Victor Campanas and Stan de Wulf. This one thing from Kunepol, a minute of the pace. Uh, Sepp von Marke, three minutes of the pace. We're starting the Canadian Championships. Um, it took me nine minutes to loop them in. Uh, so I don't know how many maple trees there are in Canada, in Canada, but I'm pretty much certain they're all within those 34 kilometers. We're approaching the end of uh, the time trial for Hugo Hull, final kilometer for the uh, recent podium finisher of the Giro. It seems like he's in a good place to take P1 of Rafael Parizella. Yes, he does. Uh, we'll see what Pierre André Cote does and also what Derek, or Derek G, sorry, can do. 78 time trial today for the uh, newly transferred. Canadian to Garmin Savada. And as Jarek G approaches the line, he's tired, definitely tired, but it doesn't care. It's a 1 2 3 for Garmin Savada. Derek G is the new Canadian time trial champion. We've gone south of Canada to Brazil for our first ever NCs of Brazil and my ever championship of Brazil on any PCM. Because when I had Brazilian riders in my team, well, the main GBs, like the World GB, or even before the FCG, weren't available. Or at least the FCG did, did not have Brazil. The FCM had it. I may have played a Brazilian championship about 11 years ago. Um, but we've got Vinicius Arangel Costa. Sorry, Vinicius Arangel Costa. Um, don't know if there's anyone good. Doesn't look like there is, but you never know. On a good day, maybe Jan Miranda is going to do uh, what happened to me on the uh, South African championships. And I'm gonna lose. Currently leaning in a uh, Cocalcino de Goyas is Pedro Leme for SCP, which is, I don't know, Scott Marcondes? Nope. Swift Carbon Pro Cycling Brazil, of course, such an easy name. Uh, that Alex Malacarne. That can't be, he's retired and Italian. Um, Vinicius across the line, and it is second place. We've lost to Jan Miranda. Moving on to Switzerland. Uh, well, I have Bessega and Stefan Kung. And Mauro Schmidt, if I don't win this, I mean, I'll be honestly at me, this episode will never see the light of day. Actually, the Giro will be the last ever thing I ever upload on my channel. Please, Stefans, please. It's, uh, it, it's, it seems like a plus three, plus four, maybe plus five actually, with a plus 11 for Beshega. Come on, son. Yeah, plus five, you get in. Come on. Mauro Schmidt leads. Um, Beshega is on the road. I did not know the parkour as well as I thought I did, uh, meaning I did not remember that there was a descent at the end. Which is a shame, I uh, probably could have done a bit better 
with Stefan. Um, he is first at the intermediate, which is everything that matters to me. Although actually, no, leading at the end is what matters to me. Besega, 1.2k uh, sorry, 1.2K to go. In a downhill plug portion, we go 99 and 42 seconds quicker than Merle Schmidt. Good. It's, a, it's a good day for Stefan and Kung as well. Come on. They've really picked up their day to be good. Let's take a look at Mark Yashe. He's third at the intermediate. Stefan is first. Yeah, okay, he's, he's, he's bullying around Gino Meda. I forgot about Gino Meda, but he definitely, he definitely is within uh, a shout uh, because he's a good climber. But so is Stefan Kung and so is Stefan Bessaga. So is now Rochmet. Stefan is actually about to catch Mark Hershey. He won't overtake him, but he's going to finish very close to him. Gino Meda takes P2 in Valorb. Mark Hershey P3. Stefan Bessaga takes P1. Sorry, Stefan Kung takes P1. It's a 1 2 for Kung and Bessaga. My channel lives on. To Luxembourg we go. Um, I don't think Hannes is necessarily the favorite today, but he does have a 74 time trial, 75 flats. I'm not. I don't think I've seen Bob Jungles in the uh, in the start list. No, he's not there. It's going to be a battle between Kevin Jonietz, 79 hills for Kevin Jonietz, or and some, uh, and Kockelman, maybe Tom Verdegen or Alex Kirsch. Uh, there's a few decent-ish riders. But yeah, not really sure what to expect from Hannes. Just hope he can give me his best. I definitely choked. I overestimated the 48 kilometer time trial. Yeah, it's a, it's an L. It's an L. It's a shame we're gonna miss out for six seconds. Johan Klein from uh, ICA is gonna take the win, I think. We are in America, back to the USA. Uh, we've done a cheeky trip to Luxembourg in the meantime. Um, currently leading in El Jebel is Magnus Sheffield ahead of Matthew Organson. Very good time trial by, um, by Magnus. He had a plus five. I don't think anyone will come close to his time. Maybe Nielsen Paules. I don't know if he's there. He's not. All right, great. I don't think anyone's coming close to his time. We'll see Will Balta and Quinn Simmons. But I don't really believe in them. The question is, can Brandon do it? Tyler Stites with P2 for Team Nova Nordisk. Well done to him. But Brandon takes the win for one little second of a Magnus Sheffield heartbreak for Magnus and a dub uh, in preparation for the Tour de France for Brandon Hills. We're in Switzerland. Um, we've got the road race. Stef both Stefans were good. Both Stefans seem to also be good today. Plus four for Kuhn, plus five for Bishaga. Uh, it's an interesting parkour. I think it's Lugano. I can't see, actually. Um, it's not saying anything. Um, if it's the parkour it used to be, the break one, but it seems a bit different. I feel like there's one race with a very similar parkour in Switzerland. And at the finish, like the final six-ish kilometers, it's a downhill right-hander, you go under the arch. Then there's a left, a right, another left, a right, quick, well, yeah, quick left-hander, and you start your sprint. And it's a 3k sprint, downhill, left-hander. Why do you end up parkour of random races? Either way. If it's this, then the break wins. If it's not, I don't really know how I'm playing this. Do I send Stefan in the break? Yeah, we'll send, we'll send Bissega in the break. Um, you know me, yeah, you know I like vibes. Ah, how's, how's this for vibes? <laughs> Have we sent six riders up front? Uh, Jan Christen, you can stop pacing. Same for Fabian Lina. I think we're going to have a fun day at the office today. I don't want to, um, as we say in France, um, sell the skin of the bear before having killed it. Um, but I think I've won. Because there's 23k left, Kung Sega up front, then 6 minutes behind is Maro Schmidt, then it's Kristen, then it's a group with definitely riders, uh, all dead, but definitely riders, and, and then behind that is Mark Hershey. Uh, so he's about 7 kilometers behind me. And Stefan Kung is going to make the 1-2, winning the road race in the time trial of Switzerland domination for Gordon Savaro. I will admit, this was quite fun. <laughs> I did enjoy this. It's a 1-2. Can Mao Rochmet make it a 1-2-3? Uh, we shall see. Who's that attacking me? Is that Sylvain Dillier? Brother, why? You're, you're ruining it. You're ruining it. Oh, say can you see... In 203 kilometers, shall Brandon McTulty be crowned winner? Bars. Uh, oh, is this Quebec? Does that mean that the race is fucked? Or is this actually Quebec? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. 
confusion is quite striking. I don't know. Hopefully this is the right parkour. Hopefully we're just doing Quebec Quebec because vibes. I really should should uh, research a bit more in my intros because uh, uh just had a much better version of this bar the, the Star Spangled Banner. Uh oh see can you see after kilometer two hundred and three crowded champion Brandon Willby <laughs> Bars that's a lot better than what I said on the get go. It's a bit of a of a kerfuffle these uh, USA championships because up front well, I mean up front. In the chasing group, we have Quinn Simmons and Nielsen Palace, which are my two main rivals. But I can't really piece that much, because up front I do have Sean Quinn, who is on course to potentially win, uh, because I think Sean Bennett and uh, Ian McLean, uh, he's not called Ian, his first letter is L, so we'll call him Lewis. Lewis McLean cannot come back on us. So it's a bit tricky, I'm not really sure what I should do, if I'm honest. Um, I'm trying to at least catch... Mr. Quinn Simmons and Mr. Uh, Mr. Nielsen Palace, and I guess see where we go from here. 5k to go. I think the win is up front. I think the win is up front. Uh, we did come back on Quinn Simmons and um, and Paulus, meaning that Magnus Schaefer, Matthew Jorgensen and Brad McNulty are b basically the last defense mechanism, um, or the last hurdle for Sean Quinn if he does want to win. Ooh, Sean Bennett looking, uh, looking weak. Sean Bennett Maybe, maybe he's gone. Nope, he's, he's attacked. He's attacked me. He's, a, he's dropped Sean Quinn. Nah. Alright, uh, Sean, Sean Quinn is going to take the stage. And is the new American champion ahead of Brandon McNulty and Matt Jorgensen. It's a top three. The fourth car, I mean, Sarah, we had the strongest team by far, especially on American soil. I think we have the best possible lineup. Time for the French Championships. Lenny Martinez, decent day for Lenny. Decent day for him. I think last year I had a few issues with him. Uh, like, I think I crashed or I had a puncture. Or um, maybe I was just stupid. That probably is the case. Um, 230 kilometers. It seems to be for the sprinters. But there is a few hills. There are a few hills, sorry. Uh, maybe if there's an attack by like a Bruno Kusnev or something, you can try and follow it. And uh, you never know. Maybe you win. Well, in the final 10k of this um, a national championship, literally everyone and their mother has attacked. Like, as I'm, I'm not kidding. Everyone in the peloton has at least attacked once. Uh, a bit of a gap here. A bit of a gap. Allez, Lenny. Alexis Renard shouldn't pace. I'm, I am bringing Christophe Laporte with me, though. It is not good. Please, relay. Please. Vast nicely. Are you all bricks? All of you are dead. Uh, the, your dead food. Um, a bit of a hill coming up. Let's use the gel on Lenny. Um, if I want to make the difference, it's here. Let's be honest. Um, should I attack? There's just slight acceleration. We've dropped Christophe Laporte. Final 3k. So, oh, Laporte came back. Oh yeah, okay, Laporte is, uh, Laporte is strong, strong. Thing is, if I take the wheel of Valentin Madras, he's gonna stop. But I don't have any yellow to attack anymore. That's a shame. It's an L. It's an L. I literally gave out the win. And Julian takes it. Another win for the Wolfpack. Fucking hell. Uh, it's going to be PC8 for us. Yeah, PC8. Just behind the, the goat, Paul Penouet. Sebo Marker leads the team in Belgium. It's a shame. Uh, he's got a fitness peak. And he ended up on the exact profile where he cannot do anything. Which is um, this one. I think it's La Roche Faucon or something like that. My col de Stokke, haute levée, rosier. Yeah, it probably is La Roche au Faucon, col de la Roche. Either way, I don't know, don't care. Uh, it's a shame. It's a shame for Seb. It really is. Honestly, I won't lie. This is so jarring. It's so long. Now, I've been in the breakaway for what? Half the stage? Yeah, 120 kilometers, roughly. I'm just bored. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just so fucking bored. Because I know I'm going to lose. Like, there's no point. There's been a crash here. Woohoo, they've already come back. It's Jérôme Bonny. Fuck me. Uh, but I'm just bored. I've been playing this in times eight. I've had time to scroll Twitter or through Twitter three times. Refresh and there's no new tweets. I'm just, just, just bored. Just, can, can this finish quicker? And the moment I was fearing has arrived. Seba Marker has been dropped from the breakaway. Uh, it leaves Van Herk and Devos. Uh, don't know him. Don't know him either. 
But have fun. Enjoy the rest of the 70 kilometers. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. And the final sprint is already on the way. Maxime Van Riels versus Lorenz de Plus. Can the Wolfpack claim another title? No, Lorenz de Plus just killed himself. Actually, wait. If he takes the inside line... No, 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 no. Maxime Van Riels has uh, relaunched again. It's France and Belgium on both road and time trial for Soudal Quickstep. Time to get the championship. I think I've never lost. I mean, I've played it twice, arguably, so that's a 50% chance of losing it, but I don't think I've ever lost the first season with Rafael Parizella last year with Pierre-André Coté. See about this year. We've won the road race. Why have I attacked with the entire... Honestly, fuck it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's attack with the entire team. Let's do what I did in Switzerland. It's fun. All right, no one's going to chase because they've got no teammates except fucking YOLO cycling, and YOLO cycling is going to be in the break. Well, we've done a Switzerland. Uh, the win is for us. Then, uh, then there's gonna be us fighting after that. Then, uh, then we've been low key dropped just a bit. Michael Woods actually gonna be last. For fuck's sake, Michael. Uh, but yeah, we've done a Switzerland, uh, meaning that uh, we've won. All right, I did not become a tax evasion country. It's not tax evasion. It's just rich. Uh, I'm not a haven for skiing. Right. Uh, so, uh, Derek G is not from Stadt. But it's a win for Hugo, the head of Derek G, Pierre-André Coté and Riley Pickfall completing the top four. We came short on the time trial for six little seconds with Hannes Almeida. Today he's got a much better condition and also I'm actually going to care compared to the time trial. Hannes Almeida goes in a breakaway and that is a win for the group of four riders up front. We'll see uh, who takes the gold medal and the strap jersey. Oh, actually no, we're going to have a group of eight. Wow! Wow. We learn new things every day in Luxembourg. 12k to go. Now we've got a few attacks from uh, riders trying to uh, win without going for the sprint. Interestingly enough, it's Trier Vaila and Priest, who are the two best uh, sprinters, I think, in the group. Actually, no, there's, uh, there's Michot from, uh, from Lotte Kernhauser that we'll have to, uh, to take care of. But yeah, 30 minutes for the group. I expected it to win. I have not been disappointed. Trier goes again. Rhys follows. Uh, I did quite well actually to be in the wheel of, uh, of Rhys. Sadly he stopped. Trier goes again. We've dropped Klein and uh, Alison Becker. I know he's not called Alison. He's from Luxembourg. So it's probably like Alice. 3.5k to go. This is what I'm going to attack. With Hannes Almeida in this little hill rider. And it's a good attack from Hannes. Sadly not good enough to drop... Uh, sorry, to drop Trier Vaila. Well, we've just lost. Yep, disappointing. Hannes Almeida will not be the Luxembourgish champion after losing in the mass sprint in Nospelt to Pries. Well done to him. Congratulations. He's 13. We came up second in the time trial in Brazil. In Luxembourg, finishing second in CT means I got third in the road race. If I get third with Vinicius Rangel Costa, knowing that I'm the only thing, or only rider here that knows how to handle a bike, no disrespect, that's shocking. Uh, right, they're not going to chase me down. So it's going to be Malacane, Dacon Chechao, and Darangel Costa. No, Darangel, just, just Rangel. All right, them two have been attacking each other for the past, like, 10 kilometers. I'm just going to drop them. There we go. Cheers. Thanks for the title, lads. And it's a win for Vinicius Rangel Costa in Cocalzinho de Goya. Ah, wait, I swear that's the name of the... No? No, no, that was a stage already before. Gotcha. Well, and it is on uh, this Brazilian win. That's our national championship campaigns. I think we've done quite well. Uh, we've got four road races, three time trials. Done well on some others as well. France and Belgium being the two that we've really failed at. Uh, Luxembourg, we were out here. Um, I think that's the only things that we've really messed up. If I'm being honest, not too bad. Let's take a quick look at the national champions of the uh, main nations. Fabio Kopsen has one in the Netherlands. Maxim van Gels has one in Belgium. We've seen that. Kasper Asgen is the Danish champion. Fuck, you know, what a razzia for, for Soudal Quickstep. Winning Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark and France are only the four biggest. Maxi Schachmann has one in Germany, Terry Gunnar has one in the United, uh, United Kingdom, sorry. Jonathan Mann has one in Italy, interesting. And Juana Uther has one in Spain.
The next episode will be the start of the Tour de France, possibly across three episodes, just like the Giro. Um, after that, we'll have the uh, transfers. I'll see if I put the transfers again as a video or like last year as something I do myself. I think I think I'll put them as a video because I don't plan on doing much changes to the team. There's one guy I'm signing, but that's that's it. Um, then we'll, we'll see what you guys want. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you haven't, please do like down below. If you're new to our channel and want to see more of this content going forward, then do feel free to leave a like as well. And I'll see you very, very soon. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let Pass me the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here, and what comes next?